Hello and welcome back to another video. I don't know how much of this you can hear, but um, we're currently we're on silage for our neighbouring farmer. So uh, we're heading out onto the road now, and I will update you when I get to the field. So we're here. So we're here on the field. Don't know if you can see it, but that's the neighbouring farmer. I won't say his name online, but we'll just call him 6280 because that's what he's driving. So he has a double bail handler on the back. So he loads his double bail handler. And then I have a trailer. We can put four bales on the bed of that. And then we can put one on top of it. And once we have the trailer loaded, he brings a bale then on the front loader. So he's bringing three bales. And I'm bringing five, so I'm bringing a total of about eight bales in total. And there's um, 71 bales in this field so far. Right, full load, five bales. Uh, 6280 is bringing three. Um, so we're going to head back to the yard. But uh, we're going to head back to the yard now. And we'll unload the 6280 and then we'll start unloading our trailer and then we'll head back to the field again so we're back on the yard the 6280 has gone in stacking it's emptied its load it took the top bale off the trailer so there's only four more left to go so he's gone stacking the other one um, so I'm not in my own tractor, I'm not in my own International 674, I'm in um, this our old contractor or the neighbouring farmer um, who's driving the 6280 stacking. I'm driving his Massey Ferguson 398, so like I haven't really looked around the cab or anything to see where's the best place to put the camera, so I'm just trying to rush things and trying to help him draw his bales home while trying to record a video so it's not it's not all that easy
we're back for another load. Again, he'll put two bales on his double bale handler on the back and then he'll start loading me up until we get five bales on the trailer and then um, he'll put a bale on the, his front loader and then we're back to the yard to empty them. So I'm just waiting until he picks up his bale and, and then I'll, he'll drive up to a bale and show me where I have to line up the trailer and then I'll line it up for him and then we'll uh, load up the trailer. As you've seen in the last couple of clips. Another three bales for the 60 to 80. And another five bales behind me. And now, back to the yard. Back at the yard, another full load. Um, it's uh, it's eight o'clock and the road is getting busy with people um, going on their sort of evening walk after work, and then there's people doing their farming jobs, going checking on their cows and sheep and stuff. So the back road is getting a bit busy, busier than what it was earlier, and um, between cars and people walking on a back road narrow with not a lot of room it's kind of getting a bit sketchy when it's kind of hard to line up the bales on the trailer because as you can see you have a bit overhang in here compared to that side but um, when we're over in the field I have to get out of the tractor and try and guide the 6280 um, when they're putting it on the trailer they're finding it hard to see with the sun shining in their eyes and then when they're in the opposite direction of the sun it's just like a load of shadows and shade so they can't really see but he's dumping the bales and stacking them um, so it's hard for him to see when he's stacking the bales on the trailer in the field because the sun is either in his eyes or when he's against the sun it's creating sort of a shadow and it's, get, it's dark and he cannot really see where he's putting them so I'm trying to figure out how to line up the bales on the trailer so that it's more or less even but it's not working out and obviously with an overhead while driving on a narrow back road with people walking and driving it's a bit scary and sketchy at times but um, we're managing there's only about a load or two left there might be then one or, ba one or two more bales then left behind which obviously it's 60 to 80 can pick up but there's only probably one or two more loads with the five bales on the trailer and then the three bales on the 60 to 80. 
basically there's only one or two more loads of us drawn eight bales at a time. Right, back out for the next couple of logs. There isn't, there isn't a whole pile left. I should be able to count them very handily when I when I arrive over there. So um, when I head up, when I get back to the field, I'll count them and I'll do the math and then I'll update you. So uh, let's head to the field. So I had a quick count. There is nine bales. We're doing eight at a time, so there'll be one left behind, which the 6280 should be able to pick that up. My full load on, my five bales, there's one bale there and there's another one there but he can only hold one more and that's our eight in total so um, there's going to be one left over but he's going to have to come back and get that, there's no point coming back with a 398 on a trailer to get one bale. So uh, this is the last load of the 398 and the trailer and the 6280 with the double bait handler and the front loader. So that's our last duo run. He's picking up the bail. I let him go first out on the road because he is a beacon on his yoke. I don't, so, uh, and as I mentioned, the road is getting that slightly bit busier in the evening time when people are back from work doing their farming jobs and all that, so. Anyways, it's, uh, it's back to the yard. Back at the farm and ready to get this last trailer load emptied.
trailer is emptied. And this is the setup I had. A Massey Ferguson 398. That was the weapon that I was driving today. And the setup. And as I mentioned, he doesn't always draw the silage with the trailer. That was only because the fields that was baled and that we were drawn from was a fair distance away from the farmyard. So as I mentioned, there was one bale left. Um, so the 6280 is gone uh, getting that bale. That's me finished today with the 398 and the, well, it's just, it's a, it's a one axle tipping trailer, isn't it? And here are the stack of bales. The ones that are further back in the line are last year's ones. I don't know if you can see it, but there's ones just back there. There's about maybe two or three sort of lines um, that were last year's ones. And then obviously there was two fields uh, baled about two days ago, which I have a video, my first silage video 2023 that's already on the channel, the one before this video. Um, well, I, there, was a, there was a video of me drawn in one of the fields uh, with that. So there's some of last year's bales in there. And then there's uh, the amount of bales we got in the field that we were drawn in today. There was 71 bales. And then the two fields that we cut there the other day. There was a combined total of about 110 to 120 bales so uh, I think the plan is is that the next field or fields uh, that he does cut uh, he's trying to bring it out as close as he can to the gateway and this driveway here so he's going to keep bringing them out this way and keep stacking them up and he always put bales here every year but then there's uh, a, a place just behind the shed there that he put more that he puts more bales because every year he cuts about two, two roughly in and around 250 bales plus he cuts every year and this buck is our old contractor he used to do our silage he, he kind of retired about five years ago so he, he didn't he stopped doing our silage five years ago but anytime we do have maybe a small field to cut we do let him have that job and and work as well and he does our slurry as well so helping him and, and he does uh, lend us the 6280 to stack our bales the brother stacks them for us and then he does come with the 398 and a single bale handler and he does help us dry in as well so it's always nice to give that favor back to to him as well by helping him dry in uh, some of his bales as well but that is going to be the end of today's video. If you liked it, please do give me a like. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe and turn on the bell icon to be notified of every future video. Um, I also have my own merch. The link to that will, down, will be down in the description. And also check out the Gatemate. Uh, there's a YouTuber called I Do Agri who makes them in his own sort of workshop in his own farmyard. So... Um, Check the link down below in this uh, in this video. It's my personal affiliate link that he gave me, and I get a, a certain percentage of commission when I've, when someone buys a gate made using my affiliate link. So if you could use my affiliate link down in the description, it helps me out and it helps I do Agri out as well. But that is going to be it for me. Um, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in my next one very soon. Take care.